43, superseding the employment agreement between the City of Dothan and Michael West in favor of a new employment agreement effective February 22nd, 2012, expiring on February 21st, 2015. Alright, we have a motion and a second. Alright, we have a motion and a second. Um, any discussion? All right. All in favor say yay. yay. All opposed say nay. All right. <laughs> Item number seven. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you. Any, all in favor say yay. 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 All opposed say nay. 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 One, one, one second. Pam, can we vote with, uh, with, uh, with uh, an offer being offered to table and second? Well, the motion to approve I thought my motion to table for 90 days. Well, we listen. If first, and then we'll take the other motion. You're mm -hmm. the city clerk. Tell us what to do. <laughs> well, the motion to approve was what I heard first, but if somebody else heard something other, I didn't. This is where I heard something too. Table. All right. Okay. All right. We have a motion to table it for 90 days. Do Do we have a second? Yes, second. All right. Um, so we vote, right? Yes, sir. All in favor, say yay. Yay. All opposed, say nay. Yeah, nay. Nay. This is on the table, right? Right. right. Yeah. All in favor, say the table is two, and against is five. Correct. So that motion fails. Now do we have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. second. Okay. All right. All in favor. Yay. 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 Opposed? Nay. Yay. Okay. I think during uh, difficult times he did an incredible job, allowed us to balance our budget, reinvest millions of dollars back into our community, and going forward we still have uh, the EPA lawsuit, we still have a landfill issue, we have water issues. I just pre appreciate having a professional city manager and I'm proud he's willing to work with us. contract and what were some of your reasons for that? Uh, one of them was section 3 A and B, section 4 uh, the salary, section 11 D and E which is our general provisions, then section 5 was transportation and then uh, section 10 cost of living. Those, I had some concerns in those areas. Uh, a lot of them are minor, but if you make, uh, in this particular case, well over six figures, uh, I have no problem with the city manager having a car. But uh, I worked 42 years in the private sector. Nobody ever furnished me a car. Now you. Should he have a car for city business? Yeah. And then, uh, but that's minor, that's, that's tweaking. That's why I wanted to table it for 90 days in order to go over these concerns here. And secondly, is I can work with anybody, but nobody has the right to determine what's important for the people that I represent. The people that I represent are poor. Their issues are not going to be the same issues that, say, people who live in West Dothan or North Dothan. If a city is growing, it's only going to grow in two directions. It'll grow north and west. I don't have a problem with it. But when I come to you with my problem, it's important to the people that I represent. i give you a typical example. The issue that I brought up about going on private property, and when I say private property, we're talking about less than 10 feet to cut dead limbs down. If you go typical, do your reporting. Uh, uh, go out in the 900 block of East Buddyshaw Street. As soon as you cross the railroad track by the Elks Club, look on the left-hand side, you can't miss it. That's a dead tree, and it's less than 10 feet from the street. 
but also look when it when that tree falls down it's going to take out power to two residents if you look across the street it's going to we've got a transformer over there and uh, these transformers they are not cheap and if you look at all the hardware all the hardware that's on those poles and when that tree falls it's not going to fall in a sunny day it's going to fall in inclement weather and pray tell that somebody's not just walking down the street and a power line falls on them. Uh, Railroad Avenue, typical example. Uh, these are things that I'm trying to be proactive is what I'm trying to do is be proactive and I can work with anybody. Anybody. If you're a professional you should be able, I can be able to dislike a person personally, but still treat them fair. It's called being a professional. I'll, I'm always going to respect your professional ability. It's just as simple as that. So do you feel that the priorities and the needs of um, your constituents are... Are not being heard. In other words, things that are important to the people that I represent, it seems to me they are falling on deaf ears. Uh, not really. I think uh, if you go back over the last two or three times that my contract's been renewed, uh, those were 4-3 folks, though actually today was a 5-2 vote. Uh, so I realize that. I realize that in, in my profession uh, that uh, you depend on, uh, you know, five people. Uh, I mean, you, do, you work for seven individuals, and some of those individuals have different thoughts about how we do. Obviously, I've been very pleased in uh, uh, going into a 7-0 vote, but that hasn't hurt and occurred in quite a while. So I'm encouraged that I had a 5-2 vote and look forward to working for the city. Uh, you know, Dothan is a great city. It's a great place to be. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to work. Uh, and I'm just honored. Uh, that they, they chose me to continue what, the position I'm doing as city manager. And so from all of that, I'm just grateful to the support uh, that I've received from the community as well as the elected officials and my staff. So uh, I'm, I'm very positive as we, as we, uh, as we uh, came to the vote today.